put my plant by the door so it can get some light. Grand rising, you guys. Ow, mother, father, mother, father, father, mother, mother, father, ow, that hurt. So I was getting ready to take my moringa seeds. Mother, <clears throat> caught my hair. I was getting ready to take my moringa seeds and there is no organic sign on here. So I'm just like confused because I know I bought organic seeds. At the same time, my mom also gave me a bag of her moringa seeds. And I don't know if she bought the same brand except not organic. I don't know. So I just caught that because I took a picture and I was going to post to Snapchat. But it was like, um, there's no organic sign. Where's the organic sign? So there's two green little circles here. If they're organic, there should be like five. So I'm just confused. So I don't know if they sent me the wrong one or if my mom gave me, because my mom did give me one of hers. I don't know if this is the one that my mom gave me. I don't know. But I just something to look for. Um, I usually keep the seeds on my Amazon storefront. And sometimes I have to buy different seeds depending on like what um, what's available because some of the brands that I use they're not there all the time and so I brought I I buy it for you know the moringa is bomb I buy it for my friends or people that I know could really use it but are not doing it you know okay so moringa we gonna chop this up. This is me butcher knife. So I opened it up. Grand rising, everybody. Hello. Sorry, I'm j I'm going to go through really quick because my back is hurting and I need to take these herbs. But I want to take moringa first. Actually, no. I'm going to take these herbs first because, bro. Uh -uh. So my back, ginger root is the, bro, I love this company. So I have blue vervain. I'm going to take blue vervain. So how I do, I shake it up because um, the herbs are soaked in like alcohol so that they could be much more concentrated. So they're extracts. Um, so I turn it upside down so that the liquid goes into the tube. I squeeze it then turn it upside down and let go. And then it's going to suck it all up. It, holy crap, I need to order more blue vervain. It's not even sucking it up. That's how little we have in here. Oh my gosh. Do you feel better? Um, physically, mentally, well, what do you mean? If like overall health, um, my back hurts pretty bad. It didn't hurt that bad this morning when I woke up, but going up and down the stairs and doing all these, yeah, my back is starting to hurt. But this morning was, I felt the, mm, the most relief today. When I woke up, it was like the most relief. Physically, okay, yeah. Like I, hopefully, I'll feel so much more better. But I think just the moving around up and down the stairs, up and down, up and down, is just getting to me. It hurts. Your back, oh yeah. We cupping girl, listen, I want to, I want to, I want to. Someone had sent me, a Slay Mafia person sent me a video of um, her son getting cupping done and they're like regular, regular, like glass cups. And I'm thinking like, dude, that's, but the way, I mean, his back was super red. Um, but I feel like that would help me so much. I don't know why. It just looks relieving. I do want to do cupping, but the lady that doesn't, she gave me the other massage and I just don't know if I want to go back to her. So I don't know, like I need to find, there has to be somebody, there has to be several people that do that here. You know, like I just, maybe I'm not looking hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. You will seriously feel so light afterwards. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Hi, Amanda. 
I learned to do it myself. Get, see, that's what I kind of want to do, but it's like, I've never done cupping before. It's never been done to me. Do I really want to do it? Should I like the little cup and just stick it on my leg? Like, you know, oh my God. cupping works. You look like it got, okay. I'm okay with looking like I got beat up, okay? My, nobody's going to see my back anyways. <laughs> I'm so excited for whenever Vaughn can see my back. I'm just saying, listen, okay? Listen. Mm. Listen, I still want to get a stripper pole, okay? I want a stripper pole. I want to put it somewhere in the house, away from my churn. Something that you can attach and then detach. I have really high ceilings. So this is going to be hard to find something that... Anyways, that's always been like a dream of mine. <laughs> and Vaughn... You know, we've had all these, but it was hard because in, at our house in Yuma, like our roof goes like this. So it's just a little hard because then we would have to buy some type of wooden block that would be, oh my gosh, Bernard, no. please we gotta go run some tp to the churn upstairs yeah do it at your house see if one of the girls can help i had a friend come do mine so much relief get out of here does anybody else do cupping at home stop i'm sure this is not something you should do at home which is why it's going to be something that i do <laughs> listen yes to the pole what a welcome home gift for Vaughn. Yes, I got to get this back right. You know, shoot. Buenos dias, Julie. What's good for migraines? Dude, Ginger has always been. You go outside or you go upstairs to your room. And there he goes, going upstairs. Go ahead. What, who needs toilet paper? Bella. Bella? Okay, well, I, Congo thinks you're Boo. Oh, the baby? Yeah, he's right here. Hi, I'm at your mommy. Your mommy's in my room. <laughs> Big baby. She's over there. Big baby. She's over there, baby. Hi, baby. He's like, wait, what? Dad, baby, dad, mommy. Dad, here that's flying. Watch up, baby. People said we gotta deworm you. I don't know why they say that. I don't know why they say that. Do you need to tell you something? Do you need to tell us something? The baby. The big baby. Oh, jo, 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 jo. Oh, the big baby with the, oh, look at the pretty teeth. Ooh, the, the pretty teeth. The big baby. I had made a post earlier and I was telling people, like, someone said I have to deworm my dogs. So like, what do I do? But, um, the best thing would be to take a stool test and take it to the doctors, to the vet. So, that was smart. I'm glad someone said that. But also, um, Congo's not rubbing his butt on the carpet. I had put in the car. I had put that in the um, description because I thought that rubbing your butt was like a sign that you have worms, and he's not doing that. 
So I thought, well, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> my back. Oh, I need to go downstairs and take my herbs. <laughs> that hurts. My back. Okay. Hold on. But I do have this red light therapy belt. I love my pole. Oh my gosh, Shelly Lynn. Yes. So I'm totally not wearing this jacket today. I'm only wearing it because I was cold and there was nothing else that I could see that was good for me right then and there. Oh, I have this. This is a red light therapy belt. It has, you plug it in right here and then you plug it into the outlet and it provides, oh my gosh, it vibrates and it provides a little bit of heat. And then of course the red light, it has two different red lights and both each of the red lights um, penetrate to a certain extent so that um, your body gets healing. It's amazing. But this belt I found and I'm putting it around my back because I feel like I need some type of support there. Good morning, Amy. If he has worms, you will see them in his stool. See, I need, see, I haven't even look, been looking at his stool. That's so crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. Hi, Penny. Okay. So if you were to swipe the comments, you would be able to see what I'm doing. I don't want to turn on the lights because the lights, I feel like I'm, I need to have some type of lights under here. And one thing that I'm just like, uh, about this house is there's only one set of lights in the kitchen and it's over there. So if I were to go in the garage and the lights were off in the house, I'd come in and it would be dark and I would have to find my way all the way around, which I guess is not a big deal. But for me, like I want to be able to see where I'm going and especially at night entering a home, like, you know, just for me. Dogs do that when their anal glands are full. Yeah, that's what people were saying in the comments and it made sense. Good morning, Shayna. It wouldn't hurt to deworm them all. See, and that's what someone said too. If one has it, they're all gonna have it, but nobody nobody looks like they would have worms, you know? Um, I don't remember the last time we dewormed them. I know that we were in I think we had just got here or right before we got here. So then less than a year ago, Congo was dewormed. Hi, Grizzy. Good morning, Stephanie. Oh my gosh, see, that's not good. I need some type of cutting board. My bad. There we go. That's a cute jacket. Oh my gosh, it's so nice, right? Oh my gosh! Thank you, Christian. I got this from Shein. Let me show you. I've never worn this jacket out of the house, but I really like how it's just. This is the dawning of the end of Aquaria. That really hurts my back. <laughs> Ow. Hi, Adriana. I wouldn't, wouldn't worry about it unless you are seeing signs. You can always take him to a groomer to clean his angle, anal glands. Yes, 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 yes. He's not rubbing his butt, though. So, But if I do, yeah, or if he does, then I would do that. It's so gross, dude. Does anybody squeeze the anal glands by themselves? <laughs> That's dangerous. Let me put you guys up here. Ooh, that's better. I'm gonna go get my meringue seeds right now. Good, I am proud of you because I was thinking about messaging all of my friends and being like, did y'all take your moringa? Because there's a friend of mine that she kind of opened up about things that she's going through that I didn't know. And she's so grateful that I'm back. It's a sister in the congregation I used to go to and 
she learned about Dr. Sebi before me. Um, but dude, when you don't have, like, it's hard to switch your whole entire lifestyle to something that you don't know anyone else is doing, you know? You can learn all the good things, but also trying to incorporate such a strict regimen into someone's already busy schedule, like, that's going to be a little difficult. So it, it just meant a lot to me that she reached out and just wanted to say that, you know, my me being back, my lives are really helping her. And, dude, I love that so much. Because she realizes, dude, sometimes I crack them open and I might get, like, an empty one. So, that's... There's another one that I cracked open, but the thing, it was, like, so minuscule, it wouldn't count as one. So, I just put it down. So, this one I cut in half because the shell... The shell you want to take off. That's what I do. I take the shell off. But this was cut in half exactly. So whenever I cut them, I try to only cut them just like slightly so that they crack and then I open. But if they get cut halfway, then all I got to do is take it out. Pull around. Take my dog to the vet for that. Good. Good. Moringa helped me regulate my period. I used to get one every six months. Now that heifer shows up on time every... <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I do all my dogs and glands myself when I bathe them. It's gross and stinky, but important to do. Good for you. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Janai. Heck no, that's gross. I know, girl. Me too, okay? I used to help my sister with my Springer's. Springer Spaniel's anal glands, and I am forever traumatized. It's the worst. <gasps> I can't. <laughs> How do you use your Moringa oil? Can you also consume it just like the seeds? Just hearing you talk about all the benefits, I really want to start incorporating it in my routine. Jenny, I do not know if you could... I mean... I don't know what type of oil is in here, but the smell of this smells like Moringa seeds. I am quite certain that you can make Moringa oil by yourself. Now, I have something called Anova. Anova. Chrissy put me on to this. Chrissy put me on game. Never used it yet. That's why it's tied up. But this you could put in like a pot and it hangs on the pot and then it keeps it hot, warm to whatever temperature you want. So like, let's say you crack open and you fill this container with seeds, like half seeds, fill the rest up with like avocado oil, put this in there well, maybe something bigger, put it to a temp and let it sit there for however long. I don't know how long they should see. Um, I, I don't remember what the time length was. I've never done it before. So it's going to be hard for me to remember the proper, all the stuff. But this smells, doesn't smell like Moringa powder. It smells like Moringa seeds. So... In the future, I'm going to try to make my own Moringa oil. I'm going to have to crack open a whole bunch of seeds, put them in something, and then boom. But I really do feel like that's probably how they do it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Steaming the hoo-ha, and I'm here for the clouds opening and rainbows. Oh, grrr. Earthy smelling faux show. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, Caitlin. That's amazing, Laura. Good for you, Jackie. Oh my gosh, Nancy, of course, yes. I'm so glad, Steph, good, da. that's what I want. I give my, the horse paste, oh. Wow, wow, good to know. Levermectin? That's a good BFF, Stephanie. 
and it's disturbing how he passed away. I feel like he had all the cures and they killed him. You're not crazy, Wendy, at all. No, that's how it is. You know, I don't know. I can't say for sure. But come on. Like, the man was super duper healthy and he dies. Just dies in prison or in jail. Like, for natural causes. Come on. But, you know, I am grateful for all the things that he taught. I'm grateful for him living his life the way that he did because he set an example for how other people can live, you know? I've used a large pot of water to put the ANOVA in and then add the mason jar in the water to keep heated. That way you can also do more than one jar at a time. Ah. I haven't noticed my Moringa seeds and it says it should expand. It, it's about to expire. Should I toss or continue? Oh, honey, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just can't imagine the seeds expiring after you, I don't know when they, when you last bought it, but I don't know. I think it's, um, something that you would need to feel comfortable with because more than likely they're probably just going to tell you throw it away, but I don't know what I would do. I probably would continue. Amazon? Oh, okay. Probably didn't help that he was eating toxic food in jail. Exactly. Your oils? Oh, you mean my extracts, these ones? Um, it's, it's, it's in a post. If you scroll down, I recently made it. Um, I will make a post in Slay Mafia, the group also. But if you order from them, just put that Dre McRae referred you. They're so sweet. Like, I've been, they're, they're awesome. Listen, I placed another order for some more extracts yesterday. Someone the other day on my live was a supporter and they were like, Dre, have you tried the Akuama seed or something like that? Never heard of it. Don't know what it is. But I ordered it, so... Whoever asked that, I got it because you asked. <laughs> I will let you know how it goes. <laughs> Expiration dates are a scam. took my ginger dude that is sweet water sweet and weird super sweet and weird super weird and sweet super sweet and weird you're welcome okay i'm gonna take lion's mane mushroom too i take this every day sometimes twice a day oh i didn't take my hops yet hops is Hops is the herb that I take for inflammation. Okay, let me put it away. I'm done. Um, I'm not going to take the yellow dock because I already took other herbs, so... <sighs> Dude, my collection is growing. Let me show you what I got. So, yeah, I recommend a little bit at a time. You know, I've been ordering them for months. So this is only why I have, you know, a good amount. Oh, I need to take this and give this to my parents. I ordered this for my dad because of his severe asthma. But, um, yeah, this is over a month span or several months span. So just, just know it, that's a while, you know, and then I got some of my dried herbs up there and then my other dried herbs up here. 
so these you know making blends are is great i love making blends and i love making tea but sometimes it's a little um easier to just take the extracts you know and go about your business um i'm gonna make both so this has a little bit of um no, a lot of yellow dock because I want to calm my anger. I feel like there's been a lot of things that have aggravated me and I want to chill out. This also has blue vervain um, to help calm down my nervous system. I don't remember what else is in here. I should have wrote it down, but I know it was for me to help me with what I was going through at that time. Um, oh, red, ras red raspberry leaf. It has red raspberry leaf. Let's see if I can identify. Oh, yellow dock. Lots of yellow dock. Mm -hmm. It has dandelion root, blue vervain, and I think blessed. Bless thistle. I think that's no, that's holy basil. I think one of them. So I'm gonna make me a little cup of tea. How this is properly supposed to be done I just walk around the house and pretend I'm a little fairy because I don't let it run off often like I would use this in my RV however um, they you have I have to be careful because the RV is small and it's an enclosed space so if I'm not opening up a window or being careful like that's not good for our dogs. The incense doesn't have any added extra things, fillers, additives. Um, it has oils, resin, it has frankincense. So it smells really good. I don't burn candles because of how toxic they are. Um, dude, and I learned that candles were toxic a long time ago. Someone told me that, but I just didn't understand how. But the ingredients that are in the candles, like it burning and being, um, you know, that whatever is in there, that smoke or that is going to go release into the air. And that does matter because, you know, um, take, for example, you're cooking and you put foil on your food and you put it in the oven. Foil is going to cook and release the aluminum into the air um, and that can cause headaches, seizures, dementia. Like aluminum um, is super no bueno with, and they use it a lot in products. I don't know why or what it does, but a lot of deodorants, that's why when you go to buy deodorants, they're gonna say aluminum free. Like, why need aluminum? Like, why is it there in the first place, you know? And they have a lot of heavy metals, even in injections that they give to people. So, like, even with that, you have to be careful because heavy metal in the brain does damage. Just like eating sugar does damage to the brain, 
so does heavy metals. And when I say sugars, I'm not talking about like fruits and things. I'm talking about like processed sugar, cane sugar, all that's just not good for our body. There was one time where we had went to um, Starbucks and I was trying to find, is there anything that we can drink? And then I got, um, we just ordered the chai tea with oat milk. And it wasn't the chai tea hot tea packet. It was the, um, oh shoot, the water's off. It was the concentrated stuff that's in the container that they got to pour. Excuse me. And so it was really good. We enjoyed it. And then afterwards, Boo felt like this is too good. This tastes too good. So she looked up the ingredients and on their website, it said that it has sugar in it. And we all like, <gasps> and then Boo was like, how did y'all not know? You tasted the same thing I tasted. You knew there was sugar. I'm like, what, girl? I ain't know what. I did not know. But after that, it was super hard to not go back and get another one. It's like, you know what? It's mostly chai tea. It has oat milk. What a little bit of sugar is that bad? And Bella will not. That is a like. There are boundaries that we do not cross, and. Consuming sugar is one of those. Bella was like, mommy, a fire. A fire will burn everything down except teeth. Sugar is going to rot your teeth though. So is that really something we want to be doing? And it's like, that's so true. You know, I used to say that all my lives too. You know, once I heard that, I was like, bro, so true. That's crazy. Huh? Who? Bernini. It's so cute the way you act up now. It's because it's so slimy. And it's like a little cotton ball. Oh, oh. Excuse the stairs. Those are things we need to bring up. Look at he's. Oh, shoot. A little fell. Bernard? Bernini? You want it, Bernini? You, you want it. You know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Bernard. Come on. No, 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 no. He's never been up the stairs, you guys. This is literally his first time. So cute. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready to do my makeup right now. So let me just finish walking around, making my house smell good. Do you guys use incense? And if so, what kind? I love it. Those legs on Nardo. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> Bernard is an old man, but he's such a, he's so young at heart, dude. Like Bernard is, he's so funny. He's so cute. So the story be, behind Bernard, um, my dad used to work at the VA clinic for several years. Um, 
But whenever he did, um, you know, dad was living in Yuma at the time and they, the vets would always go to Tucson to go to the VA hospital here in Tucson if their condition needed more um, extensive help than what the Yuma Clinic could provide. So, um, this, you know, and in Yuma, the temps get really hot, dude. Like, being in the hundred teens is normal for Yuma. And I love it, dude. I'm a desert flower. I love the sun. I love me some vitamin D. Dude, it just feels so good to my skin. Palo Santo, really? It smells amazing. I have no idea what it smells like. Um, this, the frankincense is like oh, addicting. I love frankincense. Um, did you call me? Okay, I guess not. So this one um, older gentleman had to go to the VA in Tucson and he left his dog um, tied up to the front of the VA clinic and left him there, just went to Tucson. And that day was like really, really hot over the hundreds. Cedarwood, ooh, chia seeds. I do not take chia seeds. Mm -mm. Um, so whenever dad got off work, he was like, I can't leave him here. Like, you know, this is, this dog is going to die. Being tied up, no food, no water. And I, I don't know what anything about the guy, like if he was going to stay there for a long period or, or what, I, I don't know. Um, but dad ended up taking him home and, um, what happened after that? I, I don't know, but dad had him for quite some time, mom and dad. And then one time before my parents moved to Tucson, they had lived with me and Vaughn for a little bit of time. Do I want acai? Uh -huh. Sure. I know. I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. Wait, do you want an acai? I do. I'm hungry. Um, and so one time whenever mom and dad were living with us, then, um, you know, the girls just fell in love with Bernard. And Boo when Boo and Bella did not want Bernard to leave, when my parents were going to move to Tucson, um, we asked that Bernard, was that when we asked Bernard to stay with us? I don't remember. Hold on. But at one point, at some time, we asked Bernard, or the girls asked if we could keep Bernard, and my dad said yes. <laughs> So that's why we have Bernini, because he was my parents' dog, but he was a rescue, and then my children really wanted him, so now we have him. Hey, what happened? How do we have Bernard? What? When did... I think that's when Grandma and Grandpa lived with us, right? They did live with us. Well, that's the only time I'm thinking of because I don't remember hey, ever hey. like babysitting Naughty. Bernard. Hey. Naughty. First, yeah, I'll you. Okay. Yeah. Come, girl. <gasps> Dude, it's so funny. I take chia seeds, they speed up your metabolism as well. Awesome. I put patchou, patchou uli oil in my diffuser and on my stomach and behind. I've never heard of that. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah. I know. I know. But the sky is so clear. I want to go to the mountains too. I too you do too. Okay. Let me hurry up. Let me get ready and then. You know, I need to see daddy. There's a lot of things I have to do.
but maybe we can go to the mountains. No, I gotta do my makeup. So what do you want to make? Potatoes, please. I could eat. I could chop up potatoes if you need. Okay. No, I want them. And make more than what you've been making. Cause I use five potatoes. That's not enough, baby. Ten. I would say like maybe seven or eight. Because think about it, two potatoes each. Just five is you get one little potato, he gets one little potato, one little potato, one little potato, and then we all split one more. So we all get one potato and a quarter. That's not, you know, that's not really a lot. But if we each have two potatoes, because the potatoes, they're organic gold, which means they're smaller. Other potatoes are larger, so that would make sense to only do like five of the, but. Could you get the other you want to make microwave potatoes? Well, that's the only way you can identify. You know how we microwave potatoes? Oh, baked potatoes. You want to make baked potatoes? Okay. Yeah. 